every year, a pesky little date on the calendar rolls around. It's called your birthday, and apparently it means you turn a little older and a little wiser overnight. To keep me feeling young in my old age, we're popping on the snorkel gear and making some new underwater friends. And I'm a full grown adult, so if I want popsicles before dinner, that's what I'll have. I think the rooster might be trying to get in here. Oh my god. If that wasn't the perfect birthday present, I just saw the biggest. Zoom lens. Ready to hit the trails. Bienvenidos a Baja. Oh, these croissants are to die for. We're definitely eating here again tomorrow. Now this is what we're talking about. We're at Playa Arbolitos, heading towards Cabo Pulmo from Cabo, so going north. And we expected a beach. We expected to be able to like camp right on the beach. That wasn't the case. So we went out exploring and instead we found this amazing rocky wonderland. These rocks are all like jagged and smooth and like perfectly round. Jagged and smooth, yes. <laughs> and yeah, Playa Arbolitos. Although the beach itself isn't all that big, it is well known for snorkeling, which we're gonna try tomorrow, but for now, I find these rocks very, very entertaining to play around on. I can't see. You sounded funny. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> we practiced breathing through our mouth last night. In preparation yeah, for, <laughs> for snorkeling. <laughs> I should probably take the stickers off. We can't see the ocean right now. Evan said he heard a wave, so hopefully it's swimmable today. We walked all the way out to the point we came to yesterday. The tide's pretty high today. The water might be a little too rough. We're gonna try and get in on a cove over here. Do you see the ladies? The ladies are going in, uh, kind of. They went like knee deep. <laughs> Scoop it up. And Evan has fallen, told me to go first. Without a life jacket, the ladies made it back. However, they are wearing wetsuits. The kids are out in the water now. If the kids can do it. The kids can do it. Kids are crazy nowadays though. I am beginning my approach. Yes, I know I look goofy in my scuba attire. All right, I've reached the entry point. Here goes nothing. I'm in the water. I have not dipped my head under yet. Awesome. I thought the water was gonna be cold. It wasn't, at first it was like a little cloudy in there and I didn't think I'd see a lot of fish and then they started appearing everywhere. There's huge pools of fish or schools of fish. There's fish that are like this big, there's all the colors. It looked like a stick. It was like long and skinny. So cool, I'm excited for Evan to get in there and experience it. All right, I'm about to go scuba diving. Uh, Melanie said there's some cool fish in here. We'll see, hopefully I'll see a tortuga. I gotta work on my uh oh no 
dogfish. There's a dogfish coming. What are you doing? No dogs allowed. <laughs> I don't know if there's a no dog allowed policy, but do you see all the fishies? There's a lot of fish. Here we have a beached seal. Finally oh settled down. Just in time for us to head back for a quick little lunch <laughs> and grabbing a life jacket. I walk back to my history, into my old neighborhood. Hello, doorman slash door girl. Chef Evan today has whipped up jackfruit burgers with cashew sauce, kale, and potato chips. Leftover hot dogs. Oh, and leftover hot dogs. Oh, yeah, you can see right there. What a delicacy. Someone needed a mid-hike uh, cool-off. Send it, girl. Faster than the speed of The sun does feel really, really nice after a dip in the water. The water is actually not that cold, which is kind of surprising because these tours that are coming out here are all in wetsuits. <laughs> finding I don't know if we have to like go farther out or, or what the deal is with the tortoises after a full day of scuba and sun we're a bit tired and Penelope is starving we forgot to bring her snacks and if there's one thing we've learned is that Nelly always needs snacks gotta go back to the car give her snacks and we gotta find camp she's actually I want to give her credit she has been an angel Normally she's a disaster, so she's like, play with me, run with me, swim with me. <laughs> she's, she's a great dog. She did so good today. Back at the car, there are cold showers here, so I'm gonna definitely use that with my hair. If I don't wash it with some fresh water, it will stay in one big salty ball of mess. I like that. <laughs> Maybe this is why I'm not a surfer because my hair would never be able to handle it. I'm gonna show you guys around the raw shower. So we enter from the uh, rooster's den. Through here into our luxury. I'm told it's only cold water. Shouldn't be any different than our van then. I think the rooster might be trying to get in here. He sounds like he's really close. <laughs> All right, I need to get back to it.
All right, for one of the many of Melanie's birthday meals, we're gonna go with the soy-based chorizo that she picked up at Fresco. Never tried this before. We're gonna see how it turns out. Melanie, come on, my love. Dinner is served. Or what'd you want me to call you? My love pre, bunny sugar Pre-birthday dinner. Oh, wow. This looks like the green one with a bigger tortilla. Oh, it was way better than the green one. <laughs> Well, without the waves crashing and everything. I will need a fork because I can never keep all of the uh, ingredients inside my taco shell. Coming right up, master. made the smoothie and, and wait a second do I look older oh my god how old are you oh my god did I morph overnight you're beautiful absolutely it's beautiful. my birthday guys so Evan made me a birthday smoothie oh wow special ingredients love it's gonna be a great day for now it's still before 9 a.m <laughs> so i'm just laying here so i think we've come up with a tentative plan for today we loved those arbolitos yesterday and specifically the snorkeling so we're gonna go snorkel there in the morning and then once it's lunch we're gonna head back to the van and actually back to this camp spot which is what they call the abandoned rv park next to Cabo Pulmo and have lunch and then paddle out here where they're still snorkeling but just less of it. Stay tuned for a good day. So everyone goes to the beach right there but we prefer going up this route to a uh, little bay toward the end. Pretty nice, a little bit more secluded. I wouldn't believe it but I looked emptier today. <laughs> All right, what are you in search of today? Tortugas, ideally, but I'll be happy with any fish. The tide is higher in the mornings right now, so we feel like yesterday snorkeling earlier in the morning was better, maybe because of the tide. So let's confirm that uh, hypothesis today. Ow, I'm pulling my hair. I'm off on the uh, first joyride of the day. I'm gonna try and go further left this time. If that wasn't the perfect birthday present, I just saw the biggest turtle and he came so close to me because it didn't know I was there. Holy shit. That was so awesome. I've been telling you to not get my hopes up today. And I saw it and it was like, I couldn't really tell what it was. It was like the biggest thing I'd seen out here. And then he came close and it was a turtle. Okay, I'm gonna go look for more.
I saw two turtles that were like half the size of my body and it was so crazy because I was like so focused on the fish and then I saw something huge and I was like oh my god that's the biggest fish I've seen out here so far and then it realized, I realized that it was a turtle. I followed it around for a little bit very gently and then I let it go and then I turned around and went like back towards my original direction and I saw another turtle and that one was even closer to me which is crazy like I think it was like maybe an arm length and a half away from me. So Ellie, cool. what would you like to say to me on this uh, wonderful, joyous birthday? Anything? No? Do you like the beach towel I brought for you? experience something you definitely don't expect you're going out for a little snorkel seeing a little uh, sea turtle really neat I saw a tortuga la tortuga Nelly I saw la tortuga this is just the first activity of the day we're gonna head back uh, go to that town I'm gonna take Melanie and do a nice little lunch back to the car the walk back although not that long gets very warm very quickly first we have to make it out of this road I'm gonna show you it's a bit of a doozy on the way back out normally there's cows around here today there are not we gotta make this climb hope that there are no other cars coming oh, hit the potholes just right and we're out I haven't navigated that better than yesterday. He knew what to expect. Fudge. <laughs> we met another car. <laughs> Did not expect another car. <laughs> if there was ever a moment we were going to meet another car, though, that was the precise moment. Yeah. Not any further. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have been in a, pre in a predicament. For my birthday lunch, we went to La Palapa, a cute restaurant overlooking the coast of Cabo Pulmo. birthday festivities with a quick paddle. Turns out I can still get seasick on five inch waves. We got these uh, a couple days ago at Rocco's Neveria in Todos Santos. I already ate one of the three flavors we got, which was mango, and that one was really good. This one's fresa, strawberry, and Evan is eating coconut. Co um, this is like over a week ago, a couple oh. days. We relaxed by the ocean for the rest of the evening, reminiscing about the sea turtle and the amazing trips we've taken in the van. Places that we've never dreamed of going. I can assure you one thing, this birthday will never be forgotten. Feliz cumpleaños, Tortuga! A special thanks to all of our patrons who are making films like this one possible.